Ever wondered why we feel pain? Let's start our journey in 35,000 BC, where a young Neanderthal man experiences the excruciating pain of a broken foot. In the era when mammoths roamed the earth, our story's protagonist, a young man of both Neanderthal and Homo sapiens lineage, finds himself in a perilous situation. A mammoth, a magnificent and towering beast, is but a few meters away. At the signal from his leader, the young man lunges at the mammoth with his spear, only to be met by the swift turn of the mammoth's enormous body. He leaps aside, hurtles down a slope, and lands with a thunderous crash, his full weight bearing down on his left foot. A searing pain engulfs him, like a thousand spikes piercing his foot. His face contorts, his eyes squeeze shut, and he sees flashes of lightning behind his closed eyelids. His body is a paradox of sensations, hot and cold simultaneously. He writhes on the rocky terrain, longing for the ceaseless pain to end, but it persists relentlessly. Fast forward tens of thousands of years to 2014, the remains of this broken foot are discovered in a cave in Israel. The story behind the severe injury is conjecture, but the pain is undeniable. It's etched in the genes extracted from these ancient bones, genes that also reside in some of the most pain-sensitive individuals in our time. This old broken foot holds another truth. Pain, as agonizing as it may be, is beneficial. It's a survival mechanism, a signal of danger, a prompt to take action. Pain is not just a sensation, it's a language. A language our bodies use to communicate with us, to alert us, to protect us. This tale of a Neanderthal man and his painful encounter with a mammoth might be speculative, but it brings to light a fact that is inscribed in our very genes. That pain, in all its throbbing, burning and stabbing forms, is a phenomenon we benefit from. And that's where our journey into the science of pain begins. Pain is a universal experience, a complex interplay of nerve cells and brain signals. Imagine you've just stepped on a nail, the immediate sensation you feel is a result of receptors on the nerve cells of your foot being rapidly activated. This could be due to the pressure of the nail itself, lactic acid from the damaged cells or substances produced by your immune system. These receptors open ion channels, allowing positively charged sodium ions to flow in. This stream of ions travels along the nerve cell, reaching the end that's connected to your spinal cord. Here, the ions stimulate the cell to release signaling substances, which in turn activate receptors on another nerve cell. This nerve cell then forwards the signal via its own ion channels. This relay of signals finally reaches the brain center, the thalamus, which sends it to several other parts of the brain. The insular area is involved in creating the pain experience itself, while areas like the motor cortex ensure that your body reacts quickly perhaps causing you to jerk your foot away from the nail. Now you might be thinking that all pain feels the same, but that's not the case. Different types of nerve cells relay different types of signals to the brain, resulting in various kinds of pain. For instance, if you cut yourself with a knife, you'll likely first experience a short stabbing pain. This is quickly followed by a longer burning sensation, Finally, you may feel a diffuse throbbing pain. Some nerve cells respond to the pressure of the knife, others react to substances from destroyed cells, and some react to inflammatory substances in the wound. This intricate system of nerve cells and brain signals is what converts a simple injury into a complex sensation of pain. It's a fascinating, albeit often unpleasant, aspect of our human experience. But it also serves a crucial purpose alerting us to harm and triggering our bodies to react and protect ourselves. While it might seem counterintuitive, pain is actually beneficial. It's a built-in alarm system, alerting us to injuries and potential harm. When you brush against a hot stove, it's the sharp jolt of pain that prompts you to pull away, preventing further damage. It's an evolutionary advantage, a survival mechanism that's been with us since our Neanderthal ancestors. But pain isn't just about immediate response. It also plays a vital role in our body's healing process. You know that throbbing ache after a nasty fall? That's your body's way of telling you to take it easy and allow healing to occur. Our understanding of pain, its genetic components and various types, is leading to innovative treatments and strategies for managing chronic pain, making life more bearable for millions worldwide. 
So next time you feel that sting of pain, remember, it's your body's way of protecting you. A gift from our Neanderthal ancestors.